stop and search thing is quite an interesting discussion. I've, I've written about it a bit. The, I mean, the, the disparity between um, ethnic groups and the white population in terms of how often they get stopped can, is largely explained by um, uh, what we you know, call presence on the streets, you know, whether they're available to be stopped. So how many people, rather than just looking at the population at large, um, uh, numerically, you know, how many people there are in the population, how many black people is proportion. You, you're looking instead at how many people are in a particular area on the street at night. So younger people tend to be um, disproportionately searched. Men don't, tend to be disproportionately searched as well. And there are ethnic minorities disproportionately, particularly in areas where there are high crime rates. So once you take all those factors into account, the disproportionality comes right down. Mm. Um, so I think that argument that, well, it's because they're black or it's white privilege is far too simplistic. Yes, there, as we said before, there are disparities in outcome, but the explanation behind it is, is more complex than, well, a white police officer just sees a, you know, a black person driving a car and stops them because they're black. Mm. Um, and that's, that's the kind of, I think that's a very crude discussion that we're having now about policing, yeah. which is, you know, and, and then, you know, the, the, what that does is it, it means that we are... Um, I think not policing well enough. We're not, you know, we're not uh, 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 looking at crime, particularly in areas like London, um, and, and dealing with some of the consequences um, of knife crime because we're afraid of stop and search, because we're worried about, you know, the police are worried about being regarded as racist or politicians are. And the impact of that is that we're not doing proper policing and that has an impact on the victims of crime who tend to be disproportionately black. So if we were having an honest conversation, it would be about whether, you know, whether um, we need policing to be, you know, targeted in areas of need and whether that means that, you know, this disproportionality is not the most important issue. Is it effective policing? Um, and we could have an interesting argument about how liberal and libertarian we should be, how, you know, when the police should stop, what kind of information they should have. But too often we don't have that honest conversation because of this fear of, of racial dis disparity.